Hey, you. You in there. Hi. Hey. It's Bonnie. Yeah. Hi. What do you mean you don't know me? <sighs> That's about to change. Hi, it's Bonnie Kelly here coming at you with your Mind Right Monday tip of the week. So this week we are here to talk about forgiveness. Yes, forgiveness is one of those things that there's so many misnomers out there about. In fact, there's so much misinformation regarding forgiveness, it's no wonder why you struggle. What we wanna to do today is tell you about our four different tips to help you shift into forgiveness. And before we get started, let's talk about what forgiveness isn't. Forgiveness isn't something that you do for someone else. One of the biggest misnomers is that forgive and forget. Boy, does that get under my skin. You can't forget what has happened to you, especially if you were the victim of a situation. But what you can do, and here comes my first tip straight at you, is to forgive, learn, and grow. So what you want to do is you want to learn, what can you learn from this? How can you grow and evolve as a person? And when you focus on that, then you no longer are gonna be in this forgive and forget or I have to just let this go. Because sometimes, especially it's injustice, you can't just let it go. There's too much pain or you feel so violated or wronged or hurt. So just remember, like, focus on to forgive, learn, and grow, and that'll help you shift a little bit more into forgiveness. Now let me tell you my second tip of what forgiveness is and isn't. So often we think that forgiveness, we need the other person to say they're sorry. We need someone else to apologize or admit they were wrong and then, and only then, is when I'm going to forgive you. Well, that's not how forgiveness is because the, the biggest misnomer is that forgiveness is for anyone else. Forgiveness is for you and you alone. So if you are struggling with forgiveness, you have to own that practice as something you do for you regardless on if the other person says they're sorry because it's you harboring this toxic emotion and when you choose to evolve and to shift out of it, you're the one that gets the emotional freedom, not them. Here we go into my third tip. This one's a little bit challenging. Often people, um, when I say to actually get into forgiveness, you have to accept. Now, what accept is, is being able to accept that this happened. I've been hurt, I've been wrong. What acceptance isn't means acceptable. So acceptance does not equal acceptable. So when you are moving into forgiveness, it's like we have to accept, we have to come to terms that yes, that happened, it hurt, it sucked, you did something wrong, you caused pain to another. Whatever it is, we have to accept that that happened. And go back to the first tip, what did you learn? How can you grow? Because we have to accept that it's happened to move on. And if not, all you're doing is you're holding on to the past. And when you hold on to your history, you do so at the expense of your destiny. So I got a great quote here that I'd love to share with you. The moving finger writes and having writ moves on, nor all thy pity or wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line, nor all thy tears wash away a word of it. That quote is so powerful because what it says is no matter how smart or how witty or how strong you are, that you can't erase your history. You just can't do it, it's been written. So accept that that's your history and move on because no matter what you do, it's still gonna be there. So my fourth tip is that forgiveness isn't always a feeling. So often we think that I have to feel forgiveness for someone else, that's not reality. It's actually a choice. Forgiveness is a choice and it's one that you may have to make over and over and over again before it ever becomes a feeling. So it will generate the feeling of forgiveness, but again, that might, for many of you, might not um, come until after a lot of choices to forgive. So hopefully this tip of the week has helped you shift into forgiveness. Comment below and we look forward to seeing you on our next video.